Thank you, Chris. We are back in the kitchen with Miss Christy Slaughter, and we are talking about crab. So what are we making now? We, you just made the crab artichoke dip. It smells fabulous, doesn't it? Smells it smells so good. It's in the oven. We're baking it okay. 350 for about 15 minutes. Perfect. And then I had some leftover crab. Okay. About a so what are you going to do cup. with that? We're going to do some little mini crab cakes as an appetizer. Ooh. So I've got the crab and a little Dijon mustard and a little bit of mayo, just okay. a couple of teaspoons of both of those. And I have a little bit of habanero hot sauce because I like things spicy, you know. Yeah. And so how much crab, you know, do you have in there about? About a fourth of a cup. About a fourth of yeah. a cup. Okay. And, and this isn't going to be, it's not going to be a heavy dish at all. Okay. Hey, Chris? Yes. Do you want to get out the dip? Do we sure. want to do that? If I can find some, if you can find to get something it out to with. do that. <laughs> yeah. And a little bit of lemon juice. So you put lemon juice in there with yes. the crab. Okay. And then we're going to do a little bit of scallions. Oh, it's, I wish you all could smell this. Yeah, it smells it so good. Unbelievable. The garlic good. is great. And then this has already been on with some olive oil, right? Yes. And then we're going to do a little fresh garlic. Anna? Yes. Let me slide past you here. Oh, look. Beautiful. And we sprinkled a little cheese on the top of that so that it could get nice Ooh. and brown. Look Isn't that at amazing? that. That looks delicious. And a little bell pepper. It smells so good. Yeah, we're, we're going to eat after. <laughs> yeah, we definitely yeah. are. That's for sure. We, I fixed this for my family, and three of us ate half of this entire dish. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's easy to do, yeah. right? And we're going to do a little bit of the blackened Old Bay again in the crab cakes. There you go. Okay. And then if you want to, you could do a little bit. You could use cream fresh if you wanted to to top the crab cakes, or I have a little sour cream. Okay. okay. And Chris, if you want to put, you could just put some Old Bay in that sour cream. I will do it. Just a little? Just a little bit, and then what we're going to do some green onions. You could put some green onions in there. Perfect. And a little salt and pepper in that. And then we're just going to fry these little crab cakes up. That's it. That's it? Yeah. So And so you really don't need them to sit or anything like that? I mean, no. Salt you could pepper. do it ahead of time, which would be good if you yeah. wanted to. But and you yeah. just kind of form them. Exactly. So Isn't that like awesome? That. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And we're just gonna they are literally in like there. little mini crab cake bites. Yes. Just and so, little bites. Perfect so for you, party. Yeah, and so you serve them with kind There's of this little sauce. topping yes. sauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. And That's we're going to plate them here in just a few minutes and they're going to be adorable. And then we're going to take a little piece of parsley and put on the top and you're ready for your party. That Good is so easy. <laughs> that is so easy. You have the dip and you have the little mini crab cake bites. What else do you need for a party? Well, I've got my spoon ready to go for the dip. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to eat. <laughs> Christy, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. And for the little toast points, they were clearancing out some, I know it sounds clearance like they're old, but they're not, right. uh, gluten-free hamburger buns. And so I'm just going to slice some of those up and put them underneath mm -hmm. their boiler. And you can serve those little toast points with that. Yeah. Oh, my crackers. gosh. That's great. Christy, that's thank you so much. Or check out glutenfreeguru.com.